Okay, we have uh, Harold Steves with us today. He's the ex-MLA, ex-NDP MLA, and uh, an MLA uh, that was with the Dave Barrett government back in the 70s. And Harold is one of the founders of the Agricultural Land Reserve, that most remarkable thing that we still have all these years. Now, uh, Harold's been here at the summit talking about uh, what's going on with Site C, and basically we're just going to ask him what's his impressions of the weekend and what might lie ahead for uh, the Site C struggle. Well, I was, I was really pleased with the uh, conference this weekend. Uh, we had 300 people here, and it sort of took me back a little bit because it... it was the kind of, of meeting that I was used to when we brought in the Agricultural Land Reserve a long, long time ago. There are people that are committed to saving the farmland at Site, site C, the First Nations Territory, the forests, the animals, yeah. the, 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 that beautiful valley. And, and so I've come out of this feeling very, very um, pleased because we, we're seeing the birth of a new movement. Yeah. I think it'll be within and without and around the NDP. But uh, it's it's the birth of a new group that is not going to go away, and I think it's going to play a major role in the future. Well, you know, it's kind of good to see. I'm not maybe haven't been around the block as many times as you, but I have been in, involved in a few social struggles, and and uh, we kind of are seeing maybe the good part of the old NDP, uh, the the sort of sentiments that are being expressed here, and and I. Perhaps that is probably a good thing to see that social democrats still can rally, rally together and still come up with some good ideas. And that, that's right. And, and, and my comment to the, to the last group, we talk about so, social democrats, is unfortunately what we have witnessed is the NDP going from being social democrats to liberals. Uh, when you, when you uh, go to bed with the corporations that are building the dam and the corporations that are going to ship LNG to, 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 well, to do fracking and make the LNG and then ship it, that's not social democrat democracy. That is pure out and out uh, uh, jo joining the, uh, the, the, the corporate forces. Yeah, whatever you want to try yeah. to call it. Is yeah, it liberal? Right. Is it, uh, yeah. you know, it, is it corporate ideology yeah. that's driving exactly. that? But in the end, we're, the, the result is that they uh, decided to go ahead with this project. And it really does not only fly in the face of values of social democrats and environmentalists, but most, I think most people in British Columbia feel ripped off by this decision because they, nobody really saw it coming. We, we thought that the, the, the new government was going to go in and change things. And we knew there were a lot of people in the new government who were totally opposed to Site C. Uh, we knew there were people in the government that wanted to save our agricultural lands, and we're looking at uh, 8,300 acres, I think it is, of Class 1 and 2 land that'll be lost. Now, the Class 1 and 2 land, there's not much of it in BC. It was, it was, it's what grows your vegetables. And we've got a little bit in Richmond and Delta, a little bit over here in Vancouver Island, but not much else. And we're flooding that, and we get from our own government a statement, well, there's lots of lot Class 1 to 5, thousands of acres of Class 1 to 5 land left. That's a lie. We're talking about alluvial soils, and you get an NDP government that's lying to us. That's even as bad as what they're doing to us. Well, is it? Is it? Do you think that they're misinformed? Could they be misinformed? Could their minds be changed if 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 better information is given to them, or are we kind of past that threshold now? We don't know where they got their information from that made the yeah. decision, and that's the problem. Uh, I made a presentation on, on agriculture and alternate energy to the BCUC uh, meeting, and we had all kinds of scientists and experts and agrologists and different ones make those presentations. They came down with some very good uh, uh, analysis of Site C and, and some recommendations, and that should have stood for something. But the NDP went into clo behind closed doors and they listened to someone else. Now, we don't know whether it's Bill Thielman and the, uh, uh, the unions that, uh, that paid big money into the NDP before the, uh, they brought in the, yeah. uh, the new act, yeah. or whether it's deputy ministers that uh, are sold on Site C that are, that are still there, yeah. and, uh, and so, or both. And I you suspect know, that's a curiosity both. for me. And uh, over the years looking at how governments work and then you've been in government you've sat in those chairs and you've watched the, the shenanigans I'm sure you've seen lots of them 
I remember Dave Barrett being carried out of the legislature <laughs> and all that. That was a lot of fun, actually, yeah. to watch. And whatever his beliefs were, he was going to stand up exactly. for them. And you have to respect anyone that's willing to do that, that, that the, he, the way he would battle. We haven't seen much of that since then, you know. We've just seen one successive government after another that sort of looks like the same government, you know, so so often. Yeah. Basically, it's all uh, attacking each other on a personal basis of how they, how they said things, but not about what they said. Yeah. And as soon as the government changes, nothing changes. Yeah, and we're kind of stuck in that yeah. stalemate right now. Um, maybe um, just to wrap up, and uh, have you considered uh, what the impact of uh, proportional representation may have on the uh, uh, the democracy that we have in British Columbia. I think that if we don't adopt proportional representation, we're just going to see more of the same. And those that support Site C are quite happy to support the NDP right now. Yeah. And if it looks the NDP gets in trouble, they'll be quite happy to support the Liberals. So it doesn't matter which party gets in, if that party is supporting the corporate structure, that's okay. So the only way we can make any changes is if we do have proportional representation, where somebody like Andrew Weaver can can, can have have some say in it. And the Greens the Greens yeah. can keep the NDP honest. Let's put it that way. No, that's great and uh, great view, and we should all share that. Well, thank you so much, Harold, for coming by, and uh, good luck in the future to you. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs>